who contacted us works at a manufacturing plant. He has chosen to self-quarantine because he has COPD and other underlying health conditions. He's just worried about actually being in such a large facility. He said that his employer had agreed to grant him short-term disability, but only uh, if he could provide documentation from a health department saying he was self-quarantining for those reasons. He seems to be getting an end around from the, the health department and his employer. Do you know, have you heard concerns uh, similar to that? So this is a question about someone who works for a manufacturer who has some of the conditions that would make you most vulnerable. I think this one is COPD, which is heart. And remember those over 60, but in those that have heart, lung, and kidney disease are most vulnerable, though we're seeing lots of other people get it. Just because you're not in that group, you are not indestructible. And even if you would be asymptomatic, meaning you might not even have a runny nose, that you could potentially spread it to other people. So remember your duties uh, that are there. Um, according to the question, this individual has chosen to self-quarantine, and his employer has said that his benefits will depend on whether he can get a certification from the local health department. Don't do that, employers. Don't. If you have somebody especially that falls into this high-risk area, put the health of your people first. Again, we'll work to make sure we've covered that individual, but let's make sure that we are better than this. Uh, that person works for you. That person is a Kentuckian. If that person is at high risk, they should absolutely not be um, in, in an area where they would have the, the extra ability uh, to be exposed. Next question. 